Oldupai Gorge, or Oldupai Gorge, in Tanzania is one of the most important paleoanthropological sites in the world. It has proven invaluable in furthering understanding of early human evolution. A steep-sided ravine in the Great Rift Valley that stretches across East Africa, it is about 48 kilometers long, and is located in the eastern Serenity Plains in the Arusha region not far, about 45 kilometers, from Letali, another important archaeological site of early human occupation. The British Kenyan paleoanthropologist archaeologist team Mary and Louis Leakey established and developed the excavation and research programs at Old Dubai Gorge which achieved great advances of human knowledge and world-renowned status. Homo habilis, probably the first early human species, occupied Old Dubai Gorge approximately 1.9 million years ago. Then came a contemporary Australopithecine, Paranthropus boase, 1.8 Maya, and then Homo erectus, 1.2 Maya. Homo sapiens is dated to have occupied the site 17,000 years ago. The site is significant in showing the increasing developmental and social complexities in the earliest humans, or humanins, largely as revealed in the production and use of stone tools. And prior to tools, the evidence of scavenging and hunting the euro highlighted by the presence of gnaw marks that predate cut marks a euro, and of the ratio of meat versus plant material in the early hominin diet. The collecting of tools and animal remains an essential area is evidence of developing social interaction and communal activity. All these factors indicate increase in cognitive capacities at the beginning of the period of hominids transitioning to hominin a euro that is, to human a euro form and behavior. History. Equals research equals, German neurologist Wilhelm Katwinkel traveled to Old Dubai Gorge in 1911, where he observed many fossil bones of an extinct three-toed horse. Inspired by Katwinkel's discovery, German geologist Hans Reck led a team to Old Dubai in 1913. There, he found human in remains, but the start of World War I halted his research. In 1929, Louis Leakey visited Reck and viewed the Old Dubai fossils. He became convinced that Old Dubai Gorge held critical information on human origins, and he proceeded to mount an expedition there. Louis and Mary Leakey are responsible for most of the excavations and discoveries of the human in fossils in Old Dubai Gorge. Their finds and research in East Africa and the prior work of Raymond Dart and Robert Broom in South Africa eventually convinced most paleoanthropologists that humans did indeed evolve in Africa. In 1959, at the Frida Leakey Karungo site, Mary Leakey found remains of the robust Australopithecine Zinjanthropus boisea euro, which she dubbed the Nutcracker Man. Its age, 1.75 million years radically altered accepted ideas about the time scale of human evolution. In addition to an abundance of faunal remains the Leakeys found more than 2,000 stone tools and lithic flakes, most of which they classified as old Owen tools. In 1960, the Leakeys' son Jonathan found a jaw fragment that proved to be the first fossil specimen of Homo habilis. Researchers have dated old Dubai gorge layers with radiometric dating of the embedded artifacts using potassium argon and argon argon methodology. Geologist Richard L. Hay studied the old Dubai Gorge and surrounding region between 1961 and 2002. His findings revealed that the site once contained a large lake, with shores covered by deposits of volcanic ash. Around 500,000 years ago, seismic activity diverted a nearby stream which proceeded to cut down through the sediments, revealing seven main layers in the walls of the gorge. The name Old Dubai is a misspelling of Old Dubai Gorge, which was adopted as the official name in 2005. Old Dubai is the Masa word for the wild sisal plants and severe area which grows in the gorge. Equals occupation equals, Homo habilis occupied Old Dubai from 1.9 Maya. The Australopithecine Paranthropus boase was found to occupy the site from approximately 1.8 until 1.2 Maya. Remains of Homo erectus have been dated at the site from 1.2 Maya until 700,000 years ago. Homo sapiens came to occupy the gorge some 17,000 years ago. Significance equals toolmaking equals, in the 1930s, as Mary and Louis Leakey opted to search for stone tools in East Africa, 
many if not most scholars were skeptical that Africa was the place where humans evolved. The Leakeys soon turned the evidence that confirmed their intuition. They found stone tools in the lowest geological beds. These tools presented both shaped edges and sharp points. And lithic flakes a euro struck off the core stone in the intentional shaping of those points and edges a euro were found in copious amounts. The Leakeys mapped locations where the tools were found and the sites where the unprocessed materials originated. They determined that some tools were found to have been transported up to nine miles from the place of origin, which suggested cognitive capacities to think and plan, and to execute, with abstract thought and purpose of mind. The Oldowan tools were found in the same stratum as the Australopithecus specimen, but the large number of other humanin fossils dating back to Tumayar complicated the discussion as to which species was, in fact, the toolmaker. The first species found by the Leakeys, Zinjanthropus boase or Australopithecus boase, featured a sagittal crest and large molars, which attributes suggested the species engaged in heavy chewing, indicating a diet of tough plant material, including tubers, nuts, and seeds a euro and possibly large quantities of grasses and sedges. Conversely, the Leakey's 1960s finds present a different characteristics. The skull lacked of a sagittal crest and the brain case was much more rounded, suggesting it was not Australopithecine. The larger brain case suggested a larger brain capacity than that of Australopithecus boase. These important differences indicated a different species, which eventually was named Homo habilis. Its larger brain capacity and decreased teeth size pointed to Homo as the probable toolmaker. The oldest tools at Old Dubai, found at the lowest layer and classified as Oldowan, consist of pebbles chipped on one edge. Above this layer, and later in time, are the true hand axe industries, the Chelian and the Acheulean. Higher still are located Lavaloisian artifacts, and finally the still bay implements. Oldowan tools in general are called pebble tools because the blanks chosen by the stone napper already resembled, in pebble form, the final product. Mary Leakey classified the Oldowan tools according to usage. She developed Oldowan R, B, and C categories, linking them to modes 1, 2, and 3 assemblages classified according to mode of manufacture. Her work remains a foundation for assessing local, regional, and continental changes in stone tool making during the early Pleistocene and aids in assessing which humanins were responsible for the several changes in stone tool technology over time. It is not known for sure which humanin species was first to create Oldowan tools. The emergence of tool culture has also been associated with the pre-homo species Australopithecus gary, and its flourishing is associated with the early species Homo habilis and Homo agaster. Beginning 1.7 million years ago, Early Homo erectus apparently inherited Oldowan technology and refined it into the Acheulean industry. Dating of beds, Oldowan tools occur in beds E a Euro 4 at Old Dubai Gorge. Bed I, dated 1.85 to 1.7 my R, contains Oldowan tools and fossils of Paranthropus boase and Homo habilis, as does bed 2, 1.7 to 1.2 my R. H. Habilis gave way to Homo erectus at about 1.6 my R, but P. Boise persisted. Oldowan tools continue to bed for at 800,000 to 600,000 before present. A significant change took place between beds I and II at about 1.5 my R. Flake size increased, the length of bifacial edges occurred more frequently and their length increased, and signs of battering on other artifacts increased. Some likely implications of these factors, among others, are that after this pivotal time humanins used tools more frequently, became better at making tools, and transported tools more often. Unprocessed materials, lava and quartz were used to make tools in Old Dubai Gorge. Only in the period 1.65 to 1.53 mile was chert used, and it presents a significant difference in appearance among the assemblages of Old Dubai Gorge equals hunters or scavengers equals though substantial evidence of hunting and scavenging has been discovered at Old Dubai Gorge it is believed by archaeologists that humanins inhabiting the area between 1.9 and 1.7 my R spent the majority of their time gathering wild plant foods such as berries tubers and roots 
the earliest humans most likely did not rely on meat for the bulk of their nutrition. Speculation about the amount of meat in their diets is inferred from comparative studies with a close relative of early humans, the modern chimpanzee. The chimpanzee's diet in the wild consists of only about 5% as meat. And the diets of modern hunter-gatherers do not include a large amount of meat. That is, most of the calories in both groups' diets came from plant sources. Thus, it can be assumed that early humans had similar diet proportions. Much of the information about early humans comes from tools and debris piles of lithic flakes from such sites as FLK Zinjanthropus in Old Dubai Gorge. Early humans selected specific types of rocks that would break in a predictable manner when worked, and carried these rocks from deposits several miles away. Archaeologists such as Fiona Marshall fitted rock fragments back together like a puzzle. She states in her article Life in Old Dubai Gorge that early humans knew the right angle to hit the cobble, or core, in order to successfully produce sharp-edged flakes. She noted that selected flakes then were used to cut meat from animal carcasses, and shaped cobbles were used to extract marrow into chopped tough plant material. Bone fragments of birds, fish, amphibians, and large mammals were found at the FLKZINJ site, many of which were scarred with marks. These likely were made by humans breaking open the bones for marrow, using tools to strip the meat, or by carnivores having gnawed the bones. Since several kinds of marks are present together, some archaeologists including Lewis Binford think that humans scavenged the meat or marrow left over from carnivore kills. Others like Henry Bunn believe the humans hunted and killed these animals, and carnivores later chewed the bones. This issue is still debated today but archaeologist Pat Shipman provided evidence that scavenging was probably the more common practice. She published that the majority of carnivore teeth marks came before the cut marks. Another finding by Shipman at FLKZINJ is that many of the wildebeest bones found there are overrepresented by adult and male bones. And this may indicate that humans were systematically hunting these animals as well as scavenging them. The issue of hunting versus gathering at Old Dubai Gorge is still a controversial one. Gallery. See also, Geography of Tanzania, List of Fossil Sites, Arusha Region. References. Cole, Sonia. Leakey's Luck. Harcourt Brace Jovanovich, New York. Colin Renfrew and Paul Bunn Archaeology Essentials. Archaeology Essentials 2nd Edition. Thames and Hudson Limited, London. Diocampo, Daniel M. Orthogenic Clays in East Africa, Regional Trends and Paleolimnology at the Pleo-Plastocene Boundary, Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. Journal of Paleolimnology 31 1-9. Diocampo, Daniel M., Blumenstein, R.J., and Ashley, GM Freshwater Wetland Diagenesis in Traces of Early Hominids in the Lowermost Bed 2 Playa Lake Margin at Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. Quaternary Research 57 271-281. Hay, Rishid L. Geology of the Old Dubai Gorge. University of California Press, 203 pp. Jengo, Michael F. Evidence of Human Evolution, Interpreting. Encyclopedia of Time. Science, Philosophy, Theology, and Culture Sage Publications December 5, 2011. Young, Lisa. Human in Migrations Out of Africa. Introduction to Prehistoric Archaeology. University of Michigan. Tacticos, Joan Christine. A Landscape Perspective on the Old Owen from Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. ISBN 0-542-15698-9. Leakey, LSB by the Evidence, Memoirs 1932-1951. Harcourt Brace Jovanovic, New York, ISBN 0-15-149454-1. Leakey, MD Old Dubai Gorge, Excavations in Beds Iron 2 1960 Euro 1963. Cambridge University Press, Cambridge. Leakey, M.D. Disclosing the Past. Doubleday and Company, New York, ISBN 0-385-18961-3. Marshall, 
Fiona Life in Old Dubai Gorge Calliope September 1999, 16. General One File. Web December 4, 2011. Young, Lisa. The First Stone Tool Makers. Introduction to Prehistoric Archaeology. University of Michigan. External links, Old Dupai Gorge Euro History and Information, Natural History Museum in Russia, Information about Northern Tanzania, Old Dupai.